I was going through some old guitar magazines and came across the chords for Have You Ever Seen the Rain by Creedence Clearwater Revival. And I thought that would be a really fun song to do. Uh, it's a real easy basic song. Most of their songs are. Uh, they're kind of the perfect example of a good band with great songs. So none of them were particularly amazing on their instruments, but they were just they were a good band. They could all play well, and the songs were just amazing, like so many great songs. So this is Have You Ever Seen the Rain uh, by Creedence Clearwater Revival, and it's fairly simple. Uh, there's a couple neat little things with um, the chords that we'll get to. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. So the intro is, um, and all of these chords are uh, four beats until I tell you that they're not. So the intro is A minor for four beats, F for four beats, C. G, C, and C again, and then the verse starts. So at uh, the very beginning though, the A minor, most of the strumming is very basic. Uh, you can just listen to the song. It's not any particular like strum all the way through. It has kind of a certain rhythm to it, but uh, I was listening to it to try to find a, a specific strum pattern and there really isn't one just kind of listen to it and kind of you know vibe it out kind of go with what sounds right to you what feels right because um, there's just slight variations throughout uh, but anyway the very beginning does have a little a little so it's like two strums and then the third strum is actually beat number one to the song. So technically the A minor, the first chord, is four beats with a very slight bit at the beginning making the whole thing slightly longer than four beats. But when you listen to it you'll see what I'm talking about. And it's really just like almost like um, when somebody says something and they kind of go like and breathe and then start talking. It's just a real quick little da -da -da, and then we're already on beat one. So uh, I'll play the intro just sort of from memory. Uh, listen to it and make sure that the strumming works for you and stuff. Uh, but so the A minor is just F, C, G, C. And then the next strum would be on the one, on the downbeat, and that's where the verse starts. So, uh, the verse, really simple, is C for four measures. So, four beats, four beats, four beats, four beats. And then G for two measures, and then C for two measures again. Okay, so it's... Uh, Repeats. C, 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 G, G, C, C. Then the chorus. So the chorus um, has uh, a couple of uh, not really different chords, uh, a couple of variations of chords. Okay, so it starts with F, G, then C for two beats, then a C slash B for two beats. And what's really happening there is the bass player plays a C on the C chord, then plays a B 
while everyone else is still playing a C. So what that does is between the guitars playing C and the bass playing the B, it creates a C slash B chord, which is just a C chord with B as the lowest note. So since the bass guitar would be the lowest note, usually unless they're playing way up high, um, that makes it a C slash B chord. So unfortunately, the way for us to play it, because of the amount of notes we have on a ukulele, okay, if we play just the normal C, the lowest note we're playing is that C string. So we can't go uh, down to a B. So we would have to then play everything an octave higher, and that's kind of silly. So luckily, what we can do is play the C. Okay, then if we take the C that is underneath our finger, the third fret on the A string, and drop it one fret to a B, we're not playing a C slash B chord, but we are playing a C chord with a B thrown into the mix. Okay, so we're actually playing a C major 7. Okay, but it's still a C chord with a B added into it. So a C chord, a C major chord with a B added, kind of on the top, is really a C major 7 chord. A C chord with a B added at the bottom, technically it is a C major 7 chord with a B in the bass, but really in this song it should be a C slash B, um, as I'll have written out. So anyway, what we're playing, I just want to make sure that you know, it. that is a C major 7, it's not a C slash B chord, but it's acting as one, okay? So we can do the C for two beats the C slash B for two beats, A minor for two beats, A minor slash G for two beats. And all I'm going to do is lift my finger up and play all four strings. And again, that's not really an A minor slash G, but it will work. It will uh, act as one in this case. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so the chorus ends up being F. G, C, C slash B, A minor, A minor slash G, and then it repeats. And then it goes to F, G, C, C. And that's the chorus. Okay, then we do the verse again. So, C, 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 G, G, C, C. And then it repeats. C, C, up by talking. Then the ending, F, G, C, C. Then it does the full chorus again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Does the whole chorus again. And then at the end, the ending bit is now So instead of going at the end of the chorus, F, G, C, C, it goes F, G, C, G, and then C, stopping on that first beat of the next measure. Okay. 
So, that is Have You Ever Seen the Rain by Creedence Clearwater Revival. And uh, there we are. Um, I remember hearing, because Creedence Clearwater Revival was from before I was born. Uh, I'm old, but I'm not that old. Uh, but I remember, uh, at least I think it's from before I was born. I don't know. Uh, I think it's from like the late 60s, 67. I was born in 68. Maybe it was after I was already born. I am that old. Uh, but I remember I uh, spent a little time one summer in Texas with one of my cousins and um, living down in Texas. And they had fire ants, which I did not like, little tiny ants that if you step on their nest or whatever, they're just in the ground like ants, ant, little ant hills and stuff. Uh, but they'll bite like bare feet and stuff. They'll bite you, um, your legs, whatever. And it really burns the bite. So they bite, that's why they fire ants. They're little red ants and they bite and it really burns. And uh, I learned that the hard way, no fun. But, um, my cousin had a couple of uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival albums, record albums, big vinyl. And I remember listening to them a bunch down there and really liking it. Uh, he had uh, one of the greatest hits packages, one of the greatest hits albums. And it was really cool and I liked it. So anyway, uh, have you ever seen The Rain by Creedence Clearwater Revival?